There are so many different ways to edit 360 video in the Insta360 app, so let's go through them one by one. If you're feeling lazy and you don't want to edit your shot, and you want your shot to be edited 100% automatically, then try AI mode. First, let's take a look at the 360 shot I'm going to be working with. So this is me on a scooter in Bali. I have the X4 mounted on the front of the scooter using the best 360 clamp and selfie stick. Here I take a right turn and the shot is nine seconds long. Over here, there are three editing modes, AI, quick and pro. So let's start with AI editing mode. Tap the analyze button and wait for the app to come up with some cool angles for your shot. Tap the square to see the result. And to be honest, the automatic reframing doesn't look that good. So now let's compare the difference between the Android and iPhone result. Definitely a better reframe on the iPhone. So take from that what you will. Tap the other angles to see what the app came up with, like selfie view and forward view. And you can play these back to see what they look like. If you like the view, then you can highlight the shot by tapping on it. Go to export and export it to your phone album. If you want to edit your shot quickly using some on-screen shortcuts, then use quick mode. Tap the quick tab. Here is the timeline. This is the record button. When you tap the record button, then you can add camera movements into the shot. There are many different ways you can add camera movement. First, you can tap the forward button to look forward automatically. Tap the selfie button to look back at yourself. Use deep track to track a subject in the video. Tap the 360 button to spin the shot 360 degrees automatically. Use the zoom button to zoom in and out. You can use the joystick to look left, right, up and down. Or you can swipe the shot using your finger. So let's give this a shot. I will press record. I'll zoom in with my finger, spin it around, and then look at the forward view. When the shot is complete, there will be a draft of the shot. You can play it back here. And this is the result after swiping my finger on the screen and then tapping the forward button. If you're happy with the shot, you can export it to your phone. And if you're not happy with the shot, you can delete it here and try again. You can also hold the phone and move it around to record camera movement as well. If you want full editing control over your shot, then you need to use keyframes in pro mode. In the pro tab, the plus button adds a keyframe onto the timeline. A keyframe basically tells the app, this is where I want to look in the 360 video. So I don't want to look over here. I actually want to look at myself at the beginning of the video. So then I will add a keyframe here. And now the app knows to look here at the beginning of the video. Now let's move forward two seconds into the shot. And let's say I still want to look at myself two seconds into the video, but I just want to zoom out slightly. So this is what I want the shot to look like two seconds later into the timeline. So I will add a keyframe here. Now let's say in the next second, I'm fed up looking at myself. So let's look in the opposite direction where I'm traveling in and I want to look here. Let's zoom in a little bit. And this is what I want the view to look like, what I want my viewers to see. So I will add a keyframe here. So now this is what my viewers will see three seconds into the video. Now let's say a second later, I still want to be looking in the forward view. So I'll position where I want to look and add a keyframe. Then in the next second, Let's say I want to turn this view into a tiny planet looking back at myself. So I will add a keyframe here. Under frame, I will tap the tiny planet field of view. 
make sure I'm on top of the tiny planet. And I want to keep this view for a couple of seconds. So I'll just scroll forward a couple of seconds in the timeline and make sure I'm on top of the tiny planet. Add a keyframe. And then a second later, I want to go back to the normal view. So I will add a keyframe here. And in frame, I will use the mega view. And I'll drag myself back in the center of the frame. And whenever you see update keyframe not grayed out, tap it and this will save this view in the timeline. Then I'll go to the end of the timeline. I'm going to add a keyframe. I will go to rotate. I want to rotate the view 180 degrees upside down and zoom out and update the keyframe to save this view. So now when I play this back, this is what the shot looks like. Now let's say you recorded a long car or bike journey with the X4 mounted in front of the vehicle with the front lens facing the road and you want the footage to always face the direction you are traveling in so that as the X4 goes around the bends, the lens is always facing the front of the road. This is how you would edit the shot instead. Let's take a look at the before and after so you can see the desired effect. So this is the footage before. I'm moving forward on the scooter and as I turn right, the footage is still looking forward instead of the direction I am traveling in. So to solve this problem, go to settings, turn on direction lock, and this will turn the X4 into a point and shoot GoPro camera. So now at the beginning of the video, I will reframe in the direction I am traveling in. And now when I add a keyframe, this will tell the app to consistently look in the direction I am traveling in throughout the entire shot. So this is the effect after. So I am moving forward on the scooter and as I turn right, the X4 is still looking forward in the direction I'm traveling in. If you want to track yourself or something in the center of the frame, then you need to try deep track mode. In the pro tab, hold down your finger on the screen, drag a box over yourself, tap start tracking and wait for the tracking to finish. Tap the green highlighted area. Here you can choose the field of view, which means you can zoom in or zoom out. And when I play it back, you have a selfie shot. Personally, my favorite way to reframe 360 shots is to use viewfinder mode. In this mode, you will hold your phone and move it around to record the camera movements into the shot. And you'll have your finger down on a slider to zoom in and out at the same time. And this way of reframing is just so much more natural and smooth compared to all the other options in the app. In the Pro tab, go to the beginning of the timeline, add a keyframe and use the viewfinder mode. Now you can move your phone to look around the entire 360 video. Below there is a slider with a record button. When you hold down the record button, then you can record camera movements into the shot. When you move the record button to the left, it will zoom in. And when you move the record button to the right, it will zoom out. You can also pinch your fingers on the screen to set the zoom level before you start recording. Now what I'm going to do in this shot is start off by looking at myself for a couple of seconds. Then I will turn around 360 degrees to look around the entire 360 video. Then I will turn the shot into a tiny planet by sliding to the right and pointing my phone down and holding it there for a couple of seconds. Then I will bring the slider back to the middle and bring my phone up to reset the view. So let's give that a go. So I will hold down the record button, turn around, do the tiny planet view, and then reset the view. 
Tap the tick to confirm. Now you can play back the shot. And this is a lot smoother than using keyframes. If you're not happy with the shot, then you can tap the highlighted area and tap the trash can icon and start again. And if you're happy with the edit, go to export and export the shot. That's it for this video. Hit the like button if you learned something new and I'll see you in the next video.